Hi, my name is Alex. I am a developer of a company called Neric, and one of our branches is building premium WordPress products. A major problem we were faced with was how to showcase our products to our clients. Existing solutions try to solve this problem, but they are all very limited because they are based on a WordPress multi-site installation which restricts your customers in their actions. For example, they are unable to install other plugins or themes to check for compatibility with your product. This is why we have developed WordPress Demo Cloud. WordPress Demo Cloud is a Docker-based service for WordPress products, including detailed statistics provided by Pivik. Every created demo instance is a completely separated Docker container, which gives your customers all the freedom they need to explore your product while not compromising on security. So let's take a look at the actual service. Well, currently we offer three plans, one of which is a free plan. It is fully featured, but has less computational capacity than the others. So let's just start with this one. First, we just sign up, enter our data. and create the account. So being in the dashboard, the first thing we want to do is create a template. A template basically defines how the demos that are presented to your client should look like. So we create a template and wait for a moment. And now after the template has been created, we can edit it. So we go to template and we are faced with a complete new WordPress installation and can edit it. So now let's just customize this WordPress installation to fit our needs. For this, we can log in into the admin area and the default credentials are demo and demo. And let's say we want to upload our premium plugin. So we go to plugins and install our plugin. I'm going to install it from my hard drive. And now additionally, we can uh, insert some sample data in the plugin. So people that are going to visit the de demo have something to play with. Once we are done, we just hit this update template button and we're all set. Now, once we have created, customized and updated the template, we are ready to include the link to the demo into our website. So when we hover over the template, we can copy the demo link. Assuming this is our awesome product page, we can just inject this link into this button here. So this is the source code of this awesome page. And this is the button. And if you now just include the href for it, save it, restart. And once a client clicks on this demo, he will be redirected onto the side where the individual demo will be created. And here we are, this is the demo. If the client now goes to the admin dashboard we can log in and see our template but it's in complete completely separated instance so we have our plugin installed with the data that we created in it so let's just recap here in under two minutes, we created and embedded a demo service for our WordPress product. But it doesn't stop here. Clients will explore your product, click on links, view pages, and so on. This is valuable information for your business, as it tells you the session duration, bounce rates at certain pages, and conversion goals of users interested in your product. Fortunately, this information is not lost. Switching over to the dashboard and clicking on reports, 
we have in-depth analytics of the behavior of our clients at a template scope. Per default, this view is for yesterday. So let's change it to today. And now we see here, for example, interactions from before where we access the demo instance. We can click through and see what pages this client has accessed. For example, here in, in the admin area, this client has accessed our plugins settings page. And you can see the unique page views, the bounce rate, average time on page, and so on. This data enables you to gain in-depth knowledge of how the clients interact with your product. So that's it, a brief introduction into WordPress Demo Cloud. But there is a lot more to explore. Just join us on wpdemo.cloud, use it for free and share your feedback with us.